Royal Nation TV. Keep it locked. What's Greg and Pete? They cheated with you. Oh, wow, well, baby. Royal Nation TV. Royal Nation TV. Royal Nation TV. Yeah, well, I mean, what does it take to become a music manager? I think you have to have one. You can't be a manager without an artist. <laughs> Let's just be upfront about it, right? You could be the greatest. Hey, if you don't got a good artist, you don't. You can't be a manager, right? I think it starts with this, right? My my path isn't a normal path. It was a long time coming to become an actual manager. I'm not the greatest manager. Let me tell you why T. Ferris is a better manager than me. Damn, that's a grown man saying another grown man is better. But, nah, I mean, you know, but if let you me play sports or you know who was but, good. But let me tell you, T. Ferris is a better manager than me because he's a studio rat. I hate the studio. Oh, so he would be in the studio with them He going to go find okay. the beats. He going to sit in the studio for two days. He going to sit there with Megan right now for two days in the studio. Guess what I'm going to do? Call me when he's ready. Oh, shit, that shit is jamming. Woo, woo. All right, I'll see y'all later. Uh, I never liked the studio like that. Hmm. I like the finished product. And work the finished product. And then what do we do with that finished product when it's done? Right? So, back to your question. To be a manager. One, you got to understand this industry. Right? And this industry, this industry changes constantly. <laughs> Two, you got to be humble. Right? There we go. You got some arrogant managers out there. Mm -hmm. But they come and go, too. Your artist might be hot today, and in three months, ain't don't exist. And I've seen some, and I know you. this is one of your favorite things to talk about. I've seen some managers, they want to be bigger than the artist. Hey, man. They want to shine. They, I've, I've, you know, with me dealing with all these different artists and interviewing them, I done had artist managers that wouldn't even show up to the interview. And th but then get mad if, oh, why you ask my artist that question? We got to take that out. How do you have the audacity? And I have no problem taking out anything for anybody, right. for the record. However, is you you supposed to be there with your artist and making sure everything is comfortable for them when that no matter where they go. I can see them a mile away when they walk through my door. When they walk through my door and they got on jewelry as big as artists or bigger. Listen, man. I got my little boss life piece, right? We got to get that on camera too. Right? I got my boss life piece, right? Slim got a a chain. 180000 200 I don't know what he paid for that sucker. Huge. Mm -hmm. I'm not supposed to wear that chain. I'm not a rapper. I am a rapper's manager. I'm a percentage of what his career is. So if I want my artist... If I want to make a million dollars, my artist needs to make 75, 80 million. Hmm. And you said that about, you know, because we, we know manager ranges goes anywhere from 10% to 20%. Anywhere from 10 to 20. And we know, and for y'all artists that's paying way more than that, you're getting ripped off. But let me let you know something. Understand what a manager's job is. And if you don't know, I got pages that, that I'm putting this thing together for y'all. What does that say? That's how to book a tour. <laughs> Learn it. Learn it. Promoter agreements. Learn it. Study it. This is my smart list, man. It's all kind of stuff in here that I, I know it, right? But I keep this here because when a young manager walks in, I'm going to give him that and say, learn that first. Do you know how to book a tour? Do you really? Ask yourself that. Not a one-off show, a tour. <laughs> Do you know what goes into that? Do you know how to prepare your artists for that? Question for you. What, are, what management manager or management company did you uh, say, hey, I want to be as good as that or better? I never looked up to nobody in my life <laughs> like that. I looked up to my dad, right? Me and Charles Chavez, man, that was my guy, right? So Charles had this way of doing things that was shrewd. Mm. So I took his shrewdness, but I put it in my 
smooth talkness. I don't have to cuss you out to get you to do what I need you to do, mm -hmm. right? Um, there's managers out there that I love dearly. When I was growing up and, and, and he was my friend, Chaz Hayes was managing E-40, hmm. right? Um, my boy with Scarface. My boy still is a part of the Scarface management. Uh, Rico, he's from the Bay. He's from Oakland. Been with Scarface from day. I'm saying there's a lot of people that I look to and say, okay, how do I put my own twist in it? I got a lot of questions for you managers. I don't know who manages NBA, young boy. I don't know who manages these young artists. And for the life of me, man, listen, I've always been able to have a conversation with my artists, and I'm talking about from Zero to Slim to Frankie to Bash to Natalie. You, that picture on the wall, Natalie right there, she's a Houston Rockets cheerleader. They ended up selling gold. She's still at the Houston Rockets. Mm. If you go to a Houston Rocket game, you'll still see her. Paula Deanda, Clive Davis signed her when she was 13. Um, Chameleonaire, you saw what happened with that. The rest of the world didn't know who Chameleonaire was. That's true. Right? I, even when I look at this wall, Crazy Bone, and you just look at all of this, right? And, 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 and my thing is this, right? What is a manager's job? My job is not to pay your rent, so don't fucking call me to pay your rent. You're your own artist. My job is to generate revenue for you, bingo, right? My revenue comes from your revenue, right? You make no money, I make no money. We both ain't doing shit. So we have to make a decision on how do, as a manager, how do we move forward, right? An artist walks in here with all the talent in the world but don't got a dime, most likely, I'm going to have to put some money into it. Somehow, some way, whether it's a studio. Yep. Well, thank God yep. I've been in the game long enough that I can call in favors. Facts. Right? But I'm not going to pay your rent. I'm not going to pay your car note. I'm not here to feed you and support you. That's not a manager's position. And I think the artists sometimes get caught up into that. I don't want to hang out all day with you. I have my own family I got to deal with. And that's because I think a lot, and, and me coming from a former, being, being an artist before, I think that comes a lot from the misunderstanding of what the roles are being, the roles are being They played. don't know. 